Welcome back, CSE 3200, Yukon Stores, Android Development. We are in video three of chapter nine. Uh, let's see, we are going to be covering part of this, uh, create and host a fragment. Hosting actually comes at the end. That might be a few videos away. Um, so we are going to create the fragment. What, what we're really gonna do in this video is just um, this first bullet of the, uh, of the steps of creating a fragment. So we are going to make the user interface in this video. Um, you can see that before we do that, we're gonna go into the strings file and we're gonna set up these, uh, these four different strings, our crime title hint, our crime title label, et cetera. So let's get that done. Okay, so we need to find strings. Uh, it hasn't been brought up yet under resources, under values strings our first string is crime title hint crime underscore underscore title underscore hint uh, end quote and the, the hint is going to be in the um, in the edit text um, so you know how you have a, a field that you're filling out like a form on the internet and you have grade in text that grade in text is not black text but grade in that's a hint and that's what this is going to be enter a title for the crime next one crime title label And these are more what we dealt with in GeoQuiz, just like uh, bold black faced um, labels for our elements. So two more. Crime details label. And it's gonna say details. And our last one crime solved label. This is for our checkbox and it'll say solved, checked for yes, unchecked for no. And that's it, that's our string file. Okay, so now we're going to right click on the layout folder. Select new layout resource file, call it fragment underscore crime, underscore detail, dot XML. Uh, that's a lot of typing, it's very small. Um, if you mistype something, which I often do, and in fact I did, if later on you have to rename this, you're going to have to select refactor, and under that, uh, the first option is to rename. Okay, now under the root element, we never had a choice for this before, but note how it says Android X da, 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 constraint layout. Um, that's the default and we've, we've gotten rid of the default every time. We now have the option to select uh, what we want like a linear layout. So we're gonna go ahead and make that change. So you want to not only make the, uh, the file name different, fragment underscore crime underscore detail dot XML, but change the root element to a linear layout. So now I'll have less to delete. Um, let's see, I start off in design mode. I'm gonna go to code and I am going to put this namespace down one and I have one more XMLNS. Uh, it's the one with the tools. So we're gonna get that one. Uh, let's see, orientation vertical, yes. Layout width of Match parent and height of match parent, yes. Uh, what else? We are going to have Android colon layout margin of 16 dp. All right, that's it for our linear layout. We're going to put in a text view next. Uh, 
Uh, it supplies the layout width and layout height. For every one of our elements, we actually want their width to cover the entire screen and not just however big um, the it may be like it was in the last app. So our choices are going to be for all of our elements here. For the width, we want to match the parent, but for the height, we are going to wrap content. And I am going to end that. We are going to have another text view. So I'm going to copy it and paste it. In between my two text views, I will have an edit text, but I'll work on that in a little bit. Okay, let's see, for this one here, Android colon text appearance, we haven't used that before. Text appearance is equal to question mark a t t r forward slash text appearance lots of choices. The one I want is still off the menu here, but it is, I believe, headline five. Let me check that. Yes, it is. Um, that is covered in a later chapter, but basically that's just giving you some formatting for uh, what the text is going to look like. We did not use that in our last application. Uh, let's see. Okay, I believe I want that for the next text view, so maybe I should have waited before I copied and pasted, but no big deal. All right, and then we are going to put text into each of these. So this one is going to be Android text is equal to at string forward slash and then crime title label. And for this guy down here, Android colon text equals at string forward slash. And this one is going to be crime details label. Okay, um, those two text views are just going to be labels. I'm not gonna be interacting with them. So at the moment, I'm not giving them an ID. We'll see if we have to come back to that in another chapter. All right, so in between the two text views, we are going to put in our edit text. And the width is going to be match parent. And the height is going to be wrap content. I'm going to end it. Uh, this, will, will, this one will have an ID. Makes sense that we would be interacting with it because it gives a hint, right? The whole idea of the edit text is we want to interact with it and type stuff in it. So Android ID is equal to uh, at plus ID. And uh, let's see, we're going to be calling this one crime title hint. So how about crime title for an ID. Android, okay, these are some things we haven't had to do before because we haven't never used an edit text, but Android hint is equal to, and then the string, at string, forward slash, crime details, Crime title hint. Uh, yeah, okay, I see it. Android colon important for autofill. And that's going to be set to no. And one more. Android 
input type, and that will be of type string. No, input of type text. OK, edit text is done. Let me back that up. And then we have a button and a checkbox to put in. The width is going to be match parent. The height is going to be wrap content. It will have an ID, so I will copy this guy here. And its ID is going to be crime date. I haven't ended this yet. Tools, text equals, okay. Um, and the book says Wednesday, May 11th, 1156 Eastern 2022. Uh, how about we put like the day that you first would get this in class, which would be Friday, no, it'd be Wednesday. Wednesday, Feb uh, 17 at 1010, which would have already passed, but 1010 is when class starts, EST, Eastern Standard Time 2023. So that'll be the default value that shows up. Uh, I imagine that later on those things will get a default value of taking the actual time uh, from the phone itself. So that will be more dynamic later on. Uh, that is it for my button. And now I have the checkbox to do, and then we're out of here. Checkbox. Width is going to be match parent. Height is going to be wrap content. It will have an ID. The ID will be crime solved. Let's end this. And it will have text, Android. Text equals at string forward slash crime solved label. All right, now that's it. But we're quite a ways away from having this um, actually working. But one thing that we could do is go to the design view and see what it's looking like right now without actually running it, which is kind of nice. Um, one thing that, let's go back to the code view that you might have wondered, uh, I've said in the past, this is more dynamic. One thing that this tools text does is it gives you um, the actual text in a preview. So you can see that Wednesday, Feb 17 showing up. All right, so that's where, we're, where we are going to end this video. In the next video we will do, let's see, at the very least, yep, Probably this, maybe get into or maybe even finish up both of these bullet points. We're going to create a class and set its views to the layout that you defined. I will see you in that next video.